What's up, y'all? This is Zar from AudioZar.net. Uh, I'm going to show you a few ways to share a Pro Tools session. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in Dropbox and also Google Drive. So first, in uh, sharing a Pro Tools session, you got to understand what you are sharing. So I'm going to go to my drives here, go to my Pro Tools folder. Um, so here, this the King and I session. This folder here contains all the audio files for the session, uh, the backups, the Pro Tools file itself. So when you're sharing a session with someone, if you're giving it to them to mix or uh, giving it to them to collaborate, uh, what you want to do is right click and you see compress. That's going to make this zip file that you have here. So basically what you're doing is zipping all of these folders um, into one here. And then once you've got that, if you go to, we'll start with, uh, i got Google Drive up here, so we'll start with that. Um, you can get to Google Drive by going to drive.google.com. Um, if you have a Gmail, then you already have access to Google Drive. You'll need a Gmail account to, uh, to access Google Drive. I'm going to uh, sign in here. And once I'm signed in, you could go here and go to upload and upload the file, upload the folder, but a really easy way to do it is to just drag the zip file into the browser here and you'll see it's starting to upload. Um, <clears throat> while that's uploading, let's go ahead and take a look at Dropbox. Now Dropbox is a popular way to share sessions. Um, it's getdropbox.com. Uh, I'm already logged into my account. And here, the same thing here upload and choose the files. And you choose the files you want to upload. Once you have them uploaded, let's take, um, let's see. Here we go. This is just this Android file here. Well, let me see if I can find a session. Go to my folder here, and here, uh, pregame, for example. Right click on the file, and you'll see copy public link. So if you copy the public link, if you email someone this link, um, it will download the file for them. So that makes it easy to share. Also, another way to share is... If you go to sharing, now these are folders here that I'm, I'm sharing, um, you know, with some clients. Which you can do, create a folder here, and whenever I add something, for example, this is our in Juggernaut folder. Whenever I add something to this folder, it's going to sync on their computer, and they'll have the same folder. They'll see the same files. So this is a easy way that I get my mixes that I deliver to people. That we set up a Dropbox folder. Uh, I finish the mix. I put it in the folder and they automatically see it once it uploads. A very easy way to share. If you're just sharing something with someone, say one time, it's a one time thing, you can just copy the link, send it to them that way. If you're going to be sharing something over time, then I suggest doing a shared folder. And let's check and see if this is finished uploading yet. All right, almost. And really, the Google Drive is the same thing. Um, while that's uploading, let's also go back to uh, Dropbox and talk about it a little more. So Dropbox, like Google Drive, is a uh, cloud storage. You get, uh, I think it's two gigs free with Dropbox. Um, and when you get other people to sign up, you get free space. They get free space and you get free space. Uh, so you do end up getting a Dropbox account. Uh, you know, try to get as many people as you can to sign up because it'll increase your overall space that you have. Google Drive has, I forget how much space Drive has. I want to say it's 5 gigs if I'm not mistaken. It's either 2 gigs or 5 gigs, but I believe it's 5. And we see this file here is almost done uploading. And once it does, we'll do the, you know, we'll do the same thing. Uh, show you how to share it here. Oh, also about Dropbox. 
you can with this cloud storage you can upload more than just um, than just session files it can be any kind of files photos videos uh, just think of it as a a hard drive away from your computer small space where you can store stuff okay so now once it's uploaded here you can see this cancel change to share and we can share it from here or let me see it here we can click on it and right clicking again gives us some sharing options um, email it as an attachment which would uh, and send it as a um, send it as an attached file they can download download the zip file sharing this works the same way as Dropbox uh, you add people here add an email address someone that you want to share it with and they'll have access to that file uh, and it works the same way with folders uh, you upload a folder and share it with someone on Google Drive and anything that you put in the folder it'll sync on their computer as well and they'll see the same files so that's the way that you share sessions on Google Drive and on Dropbox. Alright, any questions uh, leave a comment and see you next time.